everybody, Lake Sujan Aquarium to today. Today it is Oscar update number seven, I think. I should really look that up before I start these videos, and I desperately need a background on this aquarium. I, I can't take it anymore. I need an aquarium background so bad. I am getting so sick of looking at that little black speck on the wall over there and just the, the paneling out back. It's, it's not cool. But uh, as you can see, if you haven't already noticed, I do have a few, a uh, couple new fish in here to uh, Polypateris. Senegalis. Those guys are in the Bicher family. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Super cool fish. The dino noodles, like dinosaur noodle fish is what I call them. They're ancient fish, so they've been around for a real long time. Now, I've never kept these guys before, so I'm really excited to learn about them and just kind of see their behavior for my own. Like, I do do that little bit of research online and all that fun stuff before I do keep fish, but... I like to really kind of find out as I go, learn as I go kind of thing. Now I have a lot of background with these fish, I've worked with them so much in the past and they're really cool but uh, I definitely wanted to put something else in there with the Oscar fish. I mean the Oscar fish was, it was literally just him in this 130 gallon aquarium and uh, he, it just, it just didn't make any sense. It was kind of funny just seeing that little speck of an Oscar swimming around this huge aquarium. So I did grab two of these guys. And uh, they've been in the local pet store for a really long time. They're all paired up or whatever. They're just kind of hanging out, doing their thing. But uh, I, I took them home with me. And super cool fish. Oh my god, Sheila's giving me a bath right now. Oh. So anyway, yeah, I got two Beicher. And they're really cool watching them. So uh, feeding them with the Oscar is pretty interesting. I mean, you got to kind of feed them at the bottom of the tank. And the Oscar's very aggressive. You know, first come, first serve is his motto. So... The food that hits the surface of that water is all his. So I actually got something real cool. I think I got it somewhere over here. here. So yeah, this is a uh, company by Kent, I think. It was Kent that made this device right here. So it's just a huge uh, little pipette or uh, turkey baster, whatever you want to call it. So it extends too. So what I do is I suck up some of the frozen protein food and I just shoot it into the bottom of the aquarium, the caves and whatever, the, wherever those fish kind of can... Uh, find their food without the Oscar interfering. It's got a neat little uh, spear at the end here in case one of your fish is kind of misbehaving you can uh, impale them. Just kidding. But um, I think you just put food on this and uh, some fish can eat it. Like probably like knife fish or something like that would, would benefit from that because I know they're a slow eater too. So pretty cool. I mean I still honestly haven't used this yet. I will be using it tonight because I haven't fed these fish in about like probably since Tuesday and it's Saturday right now and uh, they're definitely looking for some food. So these guys are getting a really unique diet too but they're more of a protein fish from what I've read so uh, they, don't, they don't really go after veggies or at least I haven't seen that yet. Fed them all peas on uh, Tuesday just to let them flush out their systems for the rest of the week and I didn't see them go after any of them. Now Oscar was all about it though. But, uh, yeah, so the Oscars are, I mean, the Oscar is doing really well. And speaking of Oscars, I did originally want two Oscars, but I just, I couldn't put another one in here now. I mean, this guy would just beat the holy hell out of him. There's no question there. I mean, Oscars are going to be Oscars. I mean, he'd beat the crap out of them for like a solid month, and then they might be okay. But uh, I could be wrong, but from what I've seen with Oscar fish, I mean, he'd probably beat him up for like a straight month until that fish never shows his face again. He just hides and that is going to be his life if he gets a scrap of food. That is going to be his survival. Like he's just going to get a lucky scrap of food and he's just going to hide for the rest of his life while Mr. Main, mainstream Oscar here is going to be out and about doing his thing all day long. So that's kind of why I didn't get another Oscar fish. And uh, everybody's doing really good in here. Everybody's loving life. It just gave them a nice water change. They're all thriving. So these fish are really cool. I love the bite here. So it's something I've never even considered owning, but I just kind of took a, a gamble and, and winged it and got them. So Oscar update number seven, super quick video. He's doing fine. He's coloring up real nice. He's growing definitely. And he's got some new homies now to pester and hang out with. So. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, and I have, hope you have a good rest of your day.